so guys to begin with we have to import our object um our object we want to destroy basically so i want to destroy this building right here um a nice prop um savvy 3d gave it to me he's a good guy he's a good guy one of the best he's a good guy savvy 3d you can check his channel out he gave me this prop and i'm about to destroy it on 3ds max and import it to iclone then do a, an explosion building effect in on iclone so um after loading the building we will need to load a plugin a plugin called fractured veronoi so right here we load it onto 3ds mask um okay so we load it then we pick the object pick object right here pick pick object come on okay so we have picked the object we picked we have picked this building has selected as the object right here the object we want to basically destroy so um let's group this build this this object into parts so let's set the parts to 100 parts okay then break it into sections into 100 parts so let's break this into hundreds so it's going to take quite a while but don't worry it's it's, way, it's well the wait maybe it, it just a minute in a minute or something like i think probably so you got you have to wait when it's breaking into parts it's breaking its subsection of the mesh into parts so we can explode it <laughs> so um i think it, it should be done by now come on I'm, I'm actually recording this um it's taking a bit of the cpu so okay so it's done right here you see it has break the building into 100 parts you can make it 200 parts so you get um you get the sizes in small size you get it in small sizes the higher the number the small size you are going to get so after that i'll just close this highlight all the building make it a rigid body then the up next you go to the mass fx2 right here then i'll select this part i want it to be more realistic so multi object editor i'll name this as to explode. explode so this one is to explode so scroll downward um go to your physical mesh wherever it is just make it convex make it convex um you select convex then here we go um go to edit next go to edit select invert so to explode okay so up next you go to edit you go to edit um we are not using today is to explode okay so next go to edit um okay uh my bad go to select to explode then go to edit then select invert it will direct to the other side then name this not to explode then change it from dynamic to static right okay so um let's try this let's change this to to explode and see see the building has basically been destroyed right here so it took a while to destroy so let me change the time frame from 100 to 200 probably here okay so yes then the simulation again we just destroyed the building on 3ds mass 2017 it this looks so realistic um very very realistic um don't the object shaking and stuff it, it could be dealt with um by changing some values right here by manipulating these values yourself you can get the perfect um the perfect simulation right here so um let's say 200 frames okay 200 frames so we have to export this to iClone so up next we're about to export this animation to iClone um so to begin to begin with to begin with um this to begin with the export let's we have to do something to delete um we have to bake sorry we have to bake all bake 
you have to bake the thing so where is the bake um i think this one bake yeah it's baking yeah oh my bad my bad my bad my bad my bad we mix a crucial step which is going to be a disaster so control z undo undo the bake so right here we have to delete the object we imported you have to delete this delete this yes then just to explode then bake it bake It's almost done so we we have to as we can export export it now it is baked we can export the frame now so let's export this to iClone so um, to begin with right here you go to export export um, saving as TV mass export so let me say building explosions of oh, building explosion so building explosion then you save um save the you say you save you save it in fbs um don't forget select your animation big animation select your big animation right here then let's go so it has been exported up next we're going to use this on a clone so guys up next we about to export our fbx into i clone but we have to make it a prop we have to make it an i clone prop so to make it a prop we just have to send it into 3d exchange i'm using 3d exchange 7.8 so i'll just export it right here don't forget to export import animation along with it just take it then let's go right here almost done okay um it's just it just freezed oh getting it done come on let's go big boy let's go come on they can't wait they can't wait to see their building explode so let's go okay so this is the building i'm um, here where is the anima here here is the animation um Hey, see, it is very, it is very amazing what you can do on 3ds Max. So, um, let's export this to iClone. Export this to iClone. Building explosion. Um, I'll save it at my war zone location. And don't forget to tick export animation along with it. So let's go. Export. Oh, he says so it's already okay. So let's override it. Okay, so I spotted successfully. Next, we about to open iClone, then we do some explosions. We add the explosions. So, um, guys, I just launched iClone, and here we are. So we are we are about to make the explosion. Um, let me just import the prop right here. Um. Oh, what was up with this? Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we have to make this um, look very, very real realistic. So, um, oh. we have to make it look very realistic. So, you select your object right here, then you go down, select animation, and we don't want it to explode just now so let's put it right here so the building be will be intact before the explosion so now we have to add effects um let's go to props particles for the library then let's go to explosions we about to add explosions so let's go to the menu flame um Okay, so where is my modifier type? So right here, um, select the default mesh. This, this should be the mesh explosion. See, okay, so 
we got fire now explosion need fire so we got fire now is to not bright so let's make it bright right next up so okay so it's too bright now then up next um we we add the explosions so um it, it the fire doesn't have to start exactly at this frame um in the beginning so let's see let's see let's select the building let's see where the explosion um the explosion actually begins at scene 115 okay so 115 so let's select our fire right here the burning flame and go to burning flame you select emission so you select the emit then let's pull the emit to 115 okay so here right here 150 somewhere along, along this okay 115 is right here so we have just placed it emission at 115 so we have to add another blast we have the, the building need to be blast so we need to add this um add this right here okay so blast okay ground debris everything emission okay so it's you have select so we have selected the blast right here we have to select it emission once more emit um right here 115 okay so 115 is the lucky number so let's go oh no 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 So off. So let's try it again. Oh no! Come on. So one fifteen. Whoa! See, it looks so much realistic now. You see. It looks very very realistic so this is how to do a building explosion animation on i clone we just exploded the building um don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to the channel to see more cooler i clone tutorials thank you and thanks very much to my very friend seven 3d for teaching me and inspiring me always thanks thank you out and over guys have a wonderful day